Hello SpaceX fans! We are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. Straight out of a science fiction movie, Elon Musk revealed that the SpaceX Starship will enable quantum leap in deep space. Although the idea is up for debate, a few scientists acknowledged Starship's potential in space exploration. Many space enthusiasts are probably familiar with SpaceX and its iconic spacecraft Starship. Although the spacecraft is still under construction and with no completion date, fans are monitoring the progress of this exciting project. If all goes to plan, next month SpaceX will launch the largest rocket in human history. Towering nearly 400 feet tall, the rocket Starship is designed to take NASA astronauts to the moon, and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has bigger ambitions. He wants to use it to settle the humans on Mars. Much has already been made of Starship's human spaceflight capabilities, but the rocket could also revolutionize what we know about our neighboring planet and moons. Starship would totally change the way that we can do solar system exploration, says Ellie Bramson, a planetary science from Purdue University. Planetary science will just explode. If it lives up to its billing, scientists are already talking about sending missions to Neptune and its largest moon in the outer solar system, bringing back huge quantities of space rock from Earth's moon and Mars, and even developing innovative ways to protect Earth from incoming asteroids. Starship, which is being built at a Texas site dubbed the Starbase, consists of a giant spaceship on top of a large booster known as Super Heavy. Both can land back on Earth so they can be reused, reducing costs. The entire vehicle would be capable of lifting 100 metric tons of cargo and people into space on regular low-cost mission. The volume of usable space within Starship is a whooping 1,000 cubic meters, big enough to fit the entire Eiffel Tower disassembled, and that's got scientists excited. Starship is like, wow, says James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University. In mid-November, speaking in a publicly accessible virtual meeting about Starship hosted by the US National Academy of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, Musk discussed the project's scientific potential. It's extremely important that we try to become a multi-planet species as quickly as possible, he said. Along the way, we will learn a great deal about the nature of the universe. Starship could carry a lot of scientific instrumentation on flights, said Musk, far more than it's currently possible. We'd learn a tremendous amount compared to having to send fairly small vehicles with limited scientific instrumentation, which is what we currently do, he said. You could get a 100-ton object to the surface of Europa, said Musk. Central to many of these ideas is that Starship is designed to be not just large but cheap to launch. Whereas agencies like NASA and ESA must carefully choose a smattering of missions to fund, with launch costs in the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, Starship's affordability could open the door to many more. The low cost of access has the potential to really change the game for science research, says Andrew Westfall, a lecturer in physics at the University of California, Berkeley, with flights potentially as low as 2 million per launch. You can imagine privately financed missions and consortia of citizens who get together to fly things. Starship has a key advantage over the other super heavy lift rockets in development, such as NASA's much delayed Space Launch System and Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket. Since the upper half of the rocket is designed to be refueled in Earth orbit by other starships, more of its lifting capability can be handed over to scientific equipment rather than fuel. Tanya Harrison, a planetary scientist, said, As a starship has begun to seem more real, it has changed people's minds. Starship being selected for the lunar missions was a huge credibility boost. Scientists are now starting to dream of what Starship might let them do. Earlier this year, a paper published by Jennifer Heldman of NASA Ames Research Center explored some of the scientific opportunities that might be opened by Starship missions to the Moon and Mars. One great benefit is that Starship could carry full-sized equipment from Earth. No need to miniaturize it to fit in a smaller vehicle as was required for the Apollo missions to the Moon. Because a starship can land back on Earth, it will also theoretically be able to bring back vast amounts of samples. The sheer volume that could be returned from a variety of different locations would give scientists on Earth unprecedented access to extraterrestrial material. 
that could shed light on a myriad of mysteries, such as the volcanic history of the Moon or the question of life and astrobiology on Mars, says Heldman. Starship could also enable more extravagant missions to other locations, either via direct launch from Earth or perhaps by using the Moon and Mars as refueling stations, an ambitious future envisioned by Musk. One idea that comes from an international group of scientists called the CONEX, Conceptual Exploration Research, is a spacecraft called Arcanum. This spacecraft would make use of Starship's heavy lifting capabilities to explore Neptune and its largest moon, Triton. Neptune has been visited only once, a flying visit by NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989, and there is still so much we still don't know about it. Weighing in at about 21 metric tons, the spacecraft would be four times heavier than the largest deep space probe to date, NASA and ESA's Cassini-Huygens mission, which explored Saturn from 2004 to 2017. No existing rocket could currently launch such a craft, but Starship would make it possible. Philip Lubin, a physicist from the University of California, Santa Barbara, calculated that a large enough rocket, such as Starship, could be used to prevent an asteroid from hitting Earth. Such a mission could carry enough explosive to rip apart an asteroid as large as the 10-kilometer-wide rock that wiped out the dinosaurs. Its fragments would harmlessly burn up in the atmosphere before it had a chance to reach our planet. Starship could also be a better way to launch giant space telescopes that can observe the universe. Currently, equipment must be launched folded up, an expensive, complex and delicate procedure that could be prone to error. NASA has suggested that a proposed super telescope called LUVOIR, designed to image Earth-like planets around other stars, could launch on Starship, while MASK has said SpaceX is already working on an interesting project which is to have a really big telescope taking a lens that was intended for a ground-based telescope and creating a space-based telescope with it. No further details have been revealed. Some scientists have dreams of using Starship to prepare to visit other stars. René Heller, from the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research in Germany, says that Starship could offer a low-cost way to test technologies for a spacecraft that can travel multiple light years to neighboring star systems. Other ideas include using Starship to send a probe to orbit Jupiter's volcanic moon Io, a difficult task without a substantial lifting capability. It's extremely challenging because of both getting into orbit and protecting yourself from Jupiter's harsh radiation, says Alfred McEwen, a planetary geologist from the University of Arizona. But mass helps those things. You can have plenty of fuel and radiation shielding. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.